from the mountains of southern Oregon where the bus people live. Let's uh, head up the hill and see who uh, who's up here. Okay, so we got to the top of the hill and found this school bus. It may look familiar to some people. I believe this belongs to Mudspringer. Let's see. Anybody home? I'm a hippie. Hey, I'm Steve, at the side door. Going, hey! Good to see you. Mudspringer, how you Come been? Welcome to my tiny house on wheels. <laughs> I've been living in here uh, full time since last summer. So, uh, well, hey, nice. since you're there anyway, check out my uh, airplane instrument panel would be. See, I, li be. I like this. <laughs> this is something I, I mean, I saw your video on the monitor. Knew I w knew I wanted one, but, uh, you know, I like that. When you did this, to be able to keep checking all your panels. Yeah, I like that. But why don't you tell us a little bit about some of what's here. Well, this one here is for my starting battery. And uh, it, it only shows the amps if it's drawing anything. It doesn't show charging. But it was a cheapo gauge and uh, showing the voltage. And then if it was leaking any amps, it would show up there. Um, this is my solar controller. It's not an MPPT like you've got. This one is a, a cheaper one. It's a, I think it's an 80... 80 amp. Um, it would handle, I have uh, 400 watts and it would handle another 400 watts of 12 volt panels. Didn't you just fry one? Yes, I did. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so come I got the one I got now yeah. I fried it. I touched something in the wrong spot and this one has got overload protection supposedly and right. apparently my other one which was real cheap didn't. Oh, mine was a no name, came with a panel, yeah. cheap one. Yeah. yeah. This is my inverter. I'm hooked up to shore power right now, but it's uh, if I need the inverter, I can I can also turn it on down at there where the inverter is. Um, and then this is the battery monitor, which if you're doing something like this and you don't have one of these, you should. It it does amps and uh, battery, and it does a bunch of other cool things as well. Yep. Um, this shows me my um, I have two six volt golf cart batteries, so this shows voltage of each one and the total of the two right. just because I like dials and gauges yeah, which is also there yeah well yeah exactly it is redundant but usually I don't have this set to volts yeah I usually have I it normally on, have it set to this percent or something like that I usually have it on amps just to see how too. much right. whether whether the sun is shining I'm really getting power or right right I should move and then of course as you mentioned I've got one of these analog ammeters uh, for each of the panels sure and uh, so it's interesting to watch them or if one of them malfunctions which did happen after I put this in you spot it right away right so and it's you know otherwise it'd be a little bit difficult to tell because you know four panels and you know is it shady is it sunlight right and, you know just yeah, knowing you, by the total amps you're getting, it, it would be very difficult. Climb to know. up there and unplug things and exactly. stick, stick the multimeter in through four yeah. panels. It'll take a while. we we'll throw a switch and know right away. But I like, you know, I like gauges. And then if I want to turn the solar off for whatever reason, right. uh, I used to have one switch before, but I figured, well, I need to switch each one off now. Yep. And, uh, yeah, I'll do something similar once I find one of these. <laughs> eBay. Yeah. They're, they were cheap. It's hard to get them eBay delivered while you're on the road. Oh, true. But then again, my son has a permanent address. Yeah. I'll visit. Yeah. And my daughter. So here's the living space. I got enough for eight passengers with seat belts. Right. And, uh, out of a minivan? Yeah. Yep. Actually, it was a... These guys were sitting out partying, and they had a... It was $10 for the two of these. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, sure. Perfect probably would have been better to buy something with the hardware because uh, 
I had to make the, the mounting hardware. Right. Part. And then these were, I think, $50 for the pair. Yep. And they're all kind of funky, but, uh, you know, someday I'll redo it. Yep. But worse for now. Well, you can carry eight passengers. I can carry, I have seatbelts for me. So. When I first started doing the bus, uh, it was, I was intending to have my daughter and her friend who was her roommate at the time and all of their kids. Right. And so, and we all did do some stuff, but that's kind of what I was gearing for. And then uh, I got my, down here is where my fuel tank is under there. Right. I've already had to change the sensor in that twice. <laughs> and, yeah, mine's, uh, mine's acting up a little bit, but not, not to the point where I need to change it yet. But Yeah, mine just completely stopped working. Yeah. And I am not a person that should be without a fuel gauge. <laughs> I am famous for running out of fuel. <laughs> So, back here, of course, is the kitchen, and uh, this is what I was talking about when we were doing your bus. See, this, this is the cheapo Home Depot Traffic Master. Right. I like it out there in the, the passenger area. It's fine, but here I'm having trouble with it buckling, see? Sure. And so I'm going to probably just put something over it. I was going to do diamond plate, but now I'm thinking maybe of what you got in yours. Um, the flooring that I have in mine, you can, I have the wood imitation wood looking uh -huh. they also come in marble and diamond plate oh okay so you could you like i know you like diamond I plate like you diamond got it plate, here and, yes. yeah but you can get it to look just like diamond plate i mean not shiny but and it's still the same stuff so yeah well i think yep. i'll try that and this is my this is new yeah similar and similar stove and my, bigger um, sink but as i was mentioning when we were looking at your bus this is olympic wave eight I like it a lot, but it's not quite powerful enough. Unless I do more insulation and weather stripping, I might be able to get it to work better. Right. Um, which is kind of what I'm going to put my concentrate on next uh, year, at least initially, is there's a lot of air leaks in this thing. Right. But especially on the front door. Notice your uh, storm windows, which have got to help a lot. They they really do, yeah. Well, they're they're plastic just thin that thin it's, plastic right? yeah it's yeah. that shrink wrap stuff right there are two layers of it you just make a a wood frame and then put this on with tape it's packing tape right take your hair dryer and it'll shrink up yep. and tighten it and then i just put those in the they've got a weather strip on the top and the bottom and they just kind of fit in there yeah. and then for summer i have uh screens that are velcro that go over right which are kind of funky but and this here is what I call my vacant lot. Um, it's kind of just sitting there. I think I'm a person that needs a dishwasher, and I think I'm going <laughs> to put a dishwasher in there <laughs> before too long. Now, here's my electrical. This is an RV. It's a dual use. It's got my 110 and 12 volt both. All right. So. And I like the... Uh, your cabinets actually look more steampunky than my cabinets. But with the, uh, you made them out of metal. Yeah. Which was, I remember the video, which was quite a, an experience of trying to get the curve. and. Right, yeah. I, I actually took a piece of cardboard and stuck it up there. And I initially, just for reality, right, kind of doing this, am I going to hit my head? And right. Whatever. And then <laughs> once I had that kind of basic shape. I think I should have done that. <laughs> with your light. Yeah. yeah, the light over my table, I'm always smacking my head. So I think I'm going to make another one of these. The problem with these is that I would do over is this. You can't put anything very tall in there. Right. So I think I'm going to extend this on down to about here yep. or without that shelf. Put a pantry like I like mine right there. And in my vacant lot? Yeah. Where my dishwasher's going? Well, above the side well, of the actually, dishwasher. What I think or down here. doing what you're going to do, I think I'm going to do it down there. Yep. Which is just kind of this unused open space at the moment. So this bus is not totally, completely done. I've been living in it, but I still have a lot of to-dos, like the ceiling, for example. All right. But I'm going to do that last because I have a bunch of holes to poke in the in terms of uh, roof racks and vents and things like that. So here's the uh, also a composting toilet. Oh, and I'll show you. Here's what I did for mine. I intended, and I probably will do what you did with your urinal, but this was a kind of a temporary. Right. I found this on eBay. It's like 10 bucks or something. I think it's a camp urinal. And it actually goes into the sink drain just above the trap. So I've got the right. the trap. And it, I haven't had trouble with it smelling. 
I did have this kind of get clogged up because I think the urine kind of crystallizes. Or yeah, it will. But uh, that was kind of my stopgap until I did what you did with yours. Right. Well, with mine, um, my spray nozzle for my shower mm -hmm. reaches over there, so every once in a while, I hose it out, and clean it out, and. Yeah. Well, I can if I want to. <laughs> yeah. True. Do something like that. And then you got the Compost shower on the other side here. Yeah, shower. And yep. uh, I made that door that you're right next to there. Out of I just got the the hardware. Yep. And then this one is a store bought. And then in here is my dual use bedroom and uh, office space. And so you can see the bed is folded up at the moment. This bed, right. come, which I need, give me access to use the chair. The bed, I can pull these, pull the bed down, and I can also slide this bed out across and match up with this to get rid of the computer, and I can have a king size bed back right. here. And I've done that before, and even another bed underneath there. I've I've had like five people in here, yeah, at festivals, and uh, and it gives you a nice size office for. Yeah. For work, isn't it? Oh, it's not bad. It's yeah. not bad. And this actually folds up as well if I want to, but I don't normally do that. Right. And then I've got my water pump is back here in that little cabinet there. Right. So. Uh, the foam insulation and, basically uh, is. You can see, I got one of these. Oh, yeah, I got one of those. <laughs> so the foam insulation is basically for. Uh, Winter time. Oh yeah, chilly this is just tacked in here. Yeah, we had a spell where it was two weeks. It was really, really cold, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna block these off, and it actually helped quite a bit. Oh sure. And it gives me a little privacy also. Um, yeah, the windows, single pane windows, are <laughs> heat just goes right out through them. You know, I think I'm gonna end up doing what you did, where you black blacked your window out and then put in an RV window in that space. Right, right. I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. That's, that seems okay. like the, the best solution, both for in terms of screen, you know, the storm window, the whole bit. Right. So. Very cool. Well, you started yours way before me, but you're one of the people I found when I was trying to decide how to do the bus and followed along through. And, right. You know, so you inspired me to do some of the things I've done. Well, likewise. Like I said, I wish I'd wish you'd done yours first because you had a lot of good ideas that I wish I'd done in here. Well. Live and learn. Yep. I can well, always do another one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the next one will be bigger and better and, <laughs> and take half the time. All right. Well, thank you. Thanks for the tour. Yep. Or yep. Thanks for checking it out. Yeah, we'll see you on the road. All right. And I'll put a, a link down below in the description to your site or your pages and people can watch your videos too. All right. See you later, YouTube. Whatever you want. You're watching Steampunk Steve on YouTube. Subscribe. Contribute.